So it's going to be the first trophy of the English season. Who's got the upper hand? Manchester City coming in in really good form against Aston Villa, of course, trying to recapture past glories. There's a lot on the line. Villa, of course, uh, you can see long shot six to one. Man City favoured one to seven. Yeah, I mean, no surprise. Uh, Aston Villa, great to get to a cup final, but they have everything to do to stay in the Premier League this season. So some, I would say some welcome relief, having been to cup finals myself on really enjoyable occasions. But the big story for them is, I mean, this is a kind of a day out before they, they roll the sleeves up to the end of the season. I suppose in Jack Grealish, they've got one player that could probably grace the Man City team, but that's about it. Uh, if you think back to, and it's not that long ago, the league game at Villa Park, 6-1 it was uh, to Manchester City. I would be surprised if they took them apart like that. I mean, they took Watford apart in the FA Cup final last year. Yes. Uh, so I think Villa will be a lot more cautious. Uh, they are a, a team that likes to play a little bit open. We saw that against Tottenham recently at home, played quite an open game. I just, I just can't see how this Villa side in a big expanse of pitch at Wembley are going to be able to get the better of Manchester City. I mean, City can rotate. He was on the bench against uh, Real <laughs> yeah. Madrid. You'd expect him to start. You'd expect Sterling to start. And that might give them the fresh impetus again to go out and, and absolutely thump them. But, I mean, obviously it's a cup final. Anything can happen. The old cliche. Yeah. You'd expect... I mean, Guardiola's always taken this competition seriously. He's in line to maybe match Bob Paisley's record of winning it three years in a row. Uh, City quite like the competition, Villa yeah, like the competition. Yeah, I think they just like winning, like most clubs, and, and, and Guardiola likes racking up the trophies. Uh, as you can see, they've been quite successful in it in recent years. Uh, and you say he puts out a strong team. Yes, he does. But then there's hardly ever a Manchester City team goes on the pitch and you don't think, that's a strong team. I know he's had injuries this season quite a lot, but uh, he is able to rotate. And uh, you, you're right, he got a rest in Madrid, so did Sterling, who come on. Uh, but let me just say, in 2013, when I was working for ESPN in the UK, I went to Wembley and Man City under Mancini in the FA Cup final were playing Roberto Martinez's Wigan. Who got relegated? Who got relegated. So, nothing to see here. Why are we even bothering turning up? City are going to win. They didn't. Mancini got sacked. And it was a big surprise. Now, Guardiola's not getting sacked, even if they, they lose. But things can happen. I just don't think with this current City side, with the players they've got, and Villa's predicament and their squad, as much as a great story it would be for them, I just don't see it happening. I was going to say, I mean, the, the way that they get the better of them, do they have to make it a fight? Or do they have to play mercurially through Grealish? No, they've got to make it a fight. And they've got to make it, they'll have to get bodies back. And try and just stifle Man City, deny space and try and hit on the counter-attack. Try and take your chances when they come and hopefully your goalkeeper has a good day. If all the eggs fall for them, uh, they got a chance. If not, I don't, I don't see it. OK, well, you're involved in the coverage the weekend as well. Uh, yep. Full build-up show for viewers in the US here on ESPN+. Plus, and you can watch the whole game as well, so make sure you join us. Full coverage here at ESPN FC as always. The Carabao Cup final. Is it going to be Villa or City? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.